Uh, Chris Chinock here for Display Central. I'm in uh, Display Week 2014. I'm here in the Merck uh, booth, or as they're called in the U.S., the uh, EMD. And what we're showing in back of us here is their, uh, their smart window uh, product. Um, this is uh, for architectural glass, not for residential glass. So you can do uh, a skyscraper or some corporate building uh, with this treatment. And what they do is they, they take a standard uh, piece of architectural glass, which is usually uh, two or three panes of glass with various coatings uh, and an inert gas in between them, uh, typically argon. And they'll replace that with either one or two cell structure. Um, so the difference between a single cell and a, and, a, and a dual cell is that the dual cell will give you uh, more contrast ratio, uh, which has some benefits I'll talk about in, in just a minute. Um, but the, uh, this is a, um, a, a, uh, an alternative approach to, for example, electrochromic, uh, which is simply on or off. But with a, an LC uh, device like this, you actually have the capability to, to dim it at various levels between the high and low transmission, uh, transmissive states. Uh, now, what they use in this is a, a guest host uh, LCD material. Uh, so it's a, a dye that's put in with the liquid crystal polymers uh, sandwiched between the two glass and electrodes, but you do not need a polarizer. Uh, so the big advantage of that is you have a much higher high-end transmissive state, up to 70% transmissive, uh, because if you had to put uh, even a single polarizer in here, you couldn't get above probably 40% uh, transmission. So it becomes really uh, a very difficult proposition uh, to, to, to propose that kind of a solution. Um, so, uh, with the with the uh, uh, the contrast ratio is what's the important part here to determine the performance of this. That and and the dye that you choose. So you can choose like a, a colored dye, a blue or a green. Um, so there's always going to be a tint uh, to the uh, to the window, but you at least have some architectural choices. And architects are you know very picky about the uh, the look of this, so that's important. Now. Uh, in terms of the contrast ratio, um, th the single cell is typically in the range of three to one. Th I mean, guest host is not a very, a very um, high s contrast material. So three to one is what you can get with a double cell. You can get up to somewhere around five to one. And what that allows you to do, it, it means you really can't cover the whole 70% to zero or nearly zero transistive state. Um, what it means is you have a, a range of tunability. So, for example, with a 5 to 1 double cell um, option, you can go from a 50% transmissive state down to a 10% transmissive state. Um, and I asked if this is uh, acceptable for uh, applications, and they seem to think, think yes. Um, but the, the, then this is more of a, a, a prototype at this point. They're still they're in the process of talking to architects and integrators to uh, see if this is actually um, a product worth commercializing and, and going forward. Um, um, now, it, d it does not, uh, well, the, it's, it's designed to reflect um, or transmit, uh, I'm sorry, it's designed to transmit uh, or uh, in a high state or a low state of visible light. So if you want to reject the infrared part of the light um, in the summer, of course, you then put a coating on the outside for infra uh, infrared rejection. Uh, I asked if you could also uh, mod uh, modulate the infrared light coming through, and you can but you can't do visible and infrared at the same time. You can do one or the other. They would like to do both, but that's still a, a research project. And if you really want to get to, to uh, a, a very low transmissive state of privacy screen, they are working on that as well. But again, you can't do that with some of the other combinations. So um, you've got a, an int a, a solution that they will be uh, proposing to various architects and industry people. The uh, question is, will it be acceptable? And we'll let you know as soon as we know more. Uh, Chris Chinock for Display Central.